are back for another Changing Stage show, but this time it's bigger, better, grandier. So, uh, what, what is it? A uh, 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 grande? Well, no, that's that's not even the biggest. Vente. It's vente. vente. For our coffee fans here. <laughs> vente. <laughs> so, my name is Florentino Buenaventura. I am the host of the Changing Stage show, and uh, I also happen to be uh, part of the Intertalk family here that puts the show on. And it's a, it's, it's a really special day because we've got almost like family uh, remotely uh, online and we are here to talk about a, a technology that will bring the musician community together in my opinion. It is something that it's kind of like the holy grail of internet jamming. It gives you the ability to play, collaborate, write, just have fun with people, people you may not know and do that live. And that is a technology called Jack Trip. And we're fortunate to have the CEO, Mike Dickey here online with us. Yeah, give your hand Mike. Hi everybody. So we're gonna be talking with Mike and the rest of the crew here. And I'm gonna to start to my left and then I'm gonna go into the other players that are remote. We've got Michaela Phillips. Michaela has been, you might know her from uh, either America's Got Talent, American Idol twice, <laughs> they just can't let you go. They just they love you too much. Also, you've done some great work online. And then here in the San Diego, um, Temecula area now and, you know, other parts of Southern California, you are branching out. So thank you, Michaela, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, we got Roger Friend right next to her from here in, in San Diego, Carlsbad. Roger comes to us by way of drums, playing for such iconic bands as ABBA, or you were part of that, you won a few Grammys, and then of course Tom Jones, because it's not unusual. It is it's not, not unusual. unusual. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, so these are our, my I would say San Diego peeps. My LA peeps, I will give a shout out to Charles J. Fearing. He's been a friend of mine since. Oh, I mean, I don't know. It goes back too many years. Or you're just going to date us, man. But uh, Charles is that's a okay. Phenomenal. <laughs> He's been an iconic guitar player in the Hollywood scene. Uh, if some of you folks know uh, the, the band Radio. You can't change that. He was a guitar player singer for that band with Ray Parker Jr. Um, the last big thing that I know of, because you've been do you do a lot of stuff that you're, you're one of those guys that everyone's heard, but nobody actually, oh, you know, you don't get a chance to know the name because you're playing in the studio. But the uh, uh, One Night in Miami. Uh, that was a phenomenal movie that he uh, did the music on. And I uh, appreciate you joining us. And uh, of course. Hey, thank you for having me. Thank yes, you. Yes, yes. You're, you're, you're a great pleasure. And then my brother, my bass brother, um, you know, we spent some Christmases together. We've hung out. Uh, the man has played with everybody from Tony Williams to Chick Corea and then some in his own band with, uh, he started with Dennis Chambers and Tony McAlpine Cab. And Bunny Brunell uh, is online with us. Say hi, Bunny. Hey, hello. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So you guys are probably wondering why we're here with all these people. We put a phenomenal project together and we're going to be doing that project again. Uh, and and I'll, I'll kind of uh, explain. We were doing this at NAM, but unfortunately, the NAM internet and uh, some of the technology that was supposed to be there didn't quite show up. So we weren't able to do this for you guys at NAM. And then we put this out as a, a, a you know, uh, a, as a uh, really cool event. We had Larry Dunn, who couldn't join us today. He's busy putting his studio together right now. So he will be back with us. Uh, but all these players came together um, and created an online band. And, most of the players hadn't played together. Maybe Bunny and uh, and uh, and um, and Larry and then and Roger. But Michaela has got a chance to play with an iconic figure. If you don't know, Larry Dunn was uh, the founding keyboardist, music director of Earth, Wind, and Fire, and um, we Crazy. did some phenomenal things. You're going to be get, get a chance to to hear that as well uh, shortly with 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 the band. But with that said, these guys created such an experience and. I want to kind of address this to Mike. When we first talked about this, Mike, we talked about an interview and then I don't know if it was you or Bill or who came up with the idea, but it's like, hey, why don't we get somebody to demonstrate it? And we go, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. 
we didn't know the monster beastly gathering that we were going to get. So, Mike, what was your thoughts when we started talking about this and formulating the idea of bringing these iconic players together? I thought it was a brilliant idea. Um, honestly, I didn't think it was going to materialize uh, in the form that it has. <laughs> um, so I, I, was, I was just been pretty pleasantly surprised, really amazed by the, the talent that we've brought together for this project. And um, I'm really excited to hear them play again in July. Yeah, yeah. We, we did a little recording. We're not going to let that one out yet because that was just a, a rehearsal. But uh, we did a little recording and... Um, Everybody was just blown away with that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go uh, to Charles uh, real quick. You know, we, when we started doing this, Charles, you were one of the first guys I talked to because I've known you for for quite some time. Char Charles, what is what's your thoughts? Uh, what was your thoughts when I told you about technology being able to allow you to jam with people like Larry, like Roger, Michaela, Bunny? What was your first thoughts? Well, it brings everyone closer together, first of all. And there are certain branding opportunities, um, live concerts um, for education, you know, that, that you, know, you know, I use the word all the time, separate. You know, there are a lot of people that are in the race, but if you separate from the pack, you win. And this separates from the pack. So you win if it's done yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. They're very, very good. Uh, what do you think separates about Separates by bringing together. Yes. yes. Right, 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 right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of that, Mike? Yeah, I mean, we, we started out just trying to help people during the pandemic and be able to play together. And I think the the opportunities that we've discovered along the way have surprised all of us. And we're really excited to help lower the bar for musicians to play together and to connect with their fans and also to make money doing what they love. Ah, awesome. Awesome. And I, I think we should probably talk about how this is done uh, because part of it was getting all everybody kind of set up with their, with their in-studio remote systems. Uh, you can either do it with a, uh, and, and Mike, I think you have one of the Jack trip devices. Maybe we can, do a cut to Mike. Show us that Jack Trip device. There we go. It's a very simple box. It's actually a, a Raspberry Pi computer inside there, right, Mike? Yeah, it is. I yeah. mean, that's that's what I started with. And if you've got a uh, if you've got a uh, USB mixer, what you can do is you can just plug that USB mixer in, plug that into the uh, Ethernet port, and you use your your phone to configure the Raspberry Pi computer. And you're off to the races to be able to to jam with anybody. You know, usually you want to try to keep it within a 600 mile radius. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you, you know, but there are times if you got good enough internet and um, you know the connection is there, you can go out farther. And 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 if you want to expand upon that, Mike, about how how that works with the the the, the radius and the technology, and you know what the experience might be if you're a little farther. Yeah, it depends how far you are from other people, as well as the quality of your internet connection. Uh, we found that if you have a fiber internet connection, it works the best by far. So for example, if you're uh, within a thousand miles of Los Angeles and you're on a fiber internet connection, you can generally play really well with other people. We have people from LA, San Diego to Seattle that are jamming regularly on the platform. Uh, if you don't have a fiber internet connection, then the radius is a bit smaller. And uh, we found that that can be anywhere from 100 to 300 miles, but that's still a lot further than uh, than you know having to be right there in person physically with someone else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Roger, you know, you're a drummer and you're a drummer on this project. Timing is of of the most crucial for you. What was your experience like with playing? And you know, obviously there's going to be some adjustments. Tell us about what your experience was like. Yeah, I was skeptical at first and as when we were testing it it seemed as if there was delay but it turns out it wasn't the fault of the jack trip it was the internet problem. Yeah, yeah yeah so and uh what really impressed me because yes i'm i'm so critical about every 16th note being so precise and when we were just testing it at first i was 
thinking, is this really happening? And, and so um, I think it was Bunny that was playing, playing a fretless even, which, yeah. which normally can sound a little behind, but it was so tight and so much fun that, yeah, I was blown away, actually, the very first time using electronic kit, which is not my first choice, but if it is, it's one of those. So, so that was just incredible. Um, and we even tested it with different tempos and different, you know, and listening back and it's like, okay, this definitely works. So, uh, yeah. Pretty surprising. So, yeah. yeah. So buddy, in, in fact, uh, your, when we did the test with you, yours was a bit of a, a, of a unique experience. We, we played, you played along the tracks, but the tracks were being played by Larry Dunn, as I mentioned from you know, the founder of Earth, Wind and Fire. And then, you were playing to your tracks, you know, that were being played by Larry because he was the one loading all the all, all the different uh, uh, the tracks there. What was your experience hearing that for the first time somewhere, and you're jamming along with it on the internet? Um, uh, you know, I didn't understand that you were asking me the question. Oh yeah, yeah, so, I'm sorry, brother. Oh yeah, okay. Well, basically, it was, it was good. You know, it's just like you you realize that the with this technology, you'll be able to play live with some people that uh, usually you have to stay in the plane for a long time to get to them. And uh, w what's good about it, uh, you can actually even uh, create and compose stuff, you know, so it, it's uh, excellent. Right, right. Very excellent. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's that's huge that your the collaboration possibilities are just phenomenal. In fact, that's one of the things that um, I'm going to direct this to Michaela. When her, uh, Michaela works with a good friend uh, of both Buddy and mine, uh, Jaskan Dupre, and Michaela lives north of us, and Jaskan lives here in San Diego, and she's having to make that trek all the way back and <laughs> forth all the time. We still have to get you guys set up, but uh, when you heard that, that and, and you're how how happy was your your gas bill? <laughs> Very, so happy. My bank account was even happier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so when you were doing that, you were sitting here. You, you, when we proposed this to you, you got a chance to play with Larry Dunn, Bunny Brunell, Charles Fearing. Uh, we uh, of of course we got to give a shout out to, to Ryman. Ryman is her musical director. Um, yeah. All, all these amazing players, and you got a chance to hear it. And you guys just did two takes. What yeah. was your thoughts? Oh my gosh. Well, first of all, it was just a really cool experience in general because how what an honor it is to play with such great musicians. Um and you know, the whole just the whole thing in general, I think it's really really special that we get a chance to remotely play with friends, family, whatever, it doesn't even matter. I just think it's so cool because there's been so many times where I so badly want to jam with somebody and I can't because I'm so far away, so I think it's really cool you just hook up a device and you're there. You yeah, know, you're, yeah, you're yeah. there with them, you know, it's, I thought, it, I thought it was an amazing experience. Well, awesome. Awesome. And Mike, um, when you heard the, uh, when you heard the rehearsals, what was your thoughts? Well, well, you know, you've heard it with choirs, but, and you've heard it with other bands, but with a band of this talent of magnitude, not saying that the other bands weren't great bands that you've heard, but you know, you know, you know for God's sake, Larry, uh, Larry Dunn's in, uh, yeah, you know, he's he's got a you know, uh, what's he's in Earth Wind and Fire. Yeah, well, Earth Wind and Fire. No, but <laughs> I'm getting tongue tied here. He is uh, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Gosh, oh, there you go. Yeah, I, I, I just had a brain. <laughs> yeah. <in there. laughs> so, um, Mike, tell us, you know, when you heard that again, I know you kind of talked a little bit about this. What 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 was going through your mind when you heard this the first time a, a band of this magnitude coming together with your technology? Just the, the quality really blew me away. And I felt like I really wanted to share this with as many people as possible. I, I felt, you know, really listening to everybody who has practiced and performed on Jack Trip is, is that, that ability to be a little bit behind the curtain and, and see that creation process and see that coming out uh, through a rehearsal is, is even is, is just an amazing experience. And I, I love the idea that that we can lower the bar for uh, musicians that are rehearsing together and for them to be able to share that with their their closest fans because i think there's a lot of people out there that would love to be able to participate in a in a session like that yeah yeah for sure for sure 
Well, I'm going to actually put this back to the to the Jack Trippers. I, I you know, um, Roger playfully came up with that name. <laughs> he even did a logo. I, I, well, we'll send it to you, yeah. Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys were talking really good, you know, before we started about your thoughts on it. Um, who wants to kind of jump in and ask Mike a couple of questions? I think you had some really good ones, Charles. Well, you know, to me, the educational prospect, because a lot of times young players or young singers don't have access. And it could be a tutorial on how do you get into the game? How do you stay in the game? You know, one of the things that um, has kept me in the game is the versatility to be able to read music. You know, you talk about Larry Dunn. How I met Larry Dunn is I knew that Maurice White hung out at this studio called Hollywood Sound. And I ran over to his 928S Brown Porsche and I told him, I said, hey man, look, if you want a guy that can read music and play guitar, I'm that guy, I can sing. I played on all of Barry White's song songs and I can read music. About a week later, I'm in the studio with Al McKay, God rest Marlo Henderson, Verdine, Larry Dunn, Freddie Wright, and Maurice White. I'm excited just to be there. Jerry Peters is the arranger. Not knowing that Jerry Peters is talking to me about this guitar line because he says, you know, I know you can no notate and he's playing this line. I'm just excited to be there. I know I'm not going to play the lead line because it's Al McKay and Marlo Henderson. He says, well, you're the one that reads. So all of a sudden my attention became, oh, okay. You, you see what I'm saying? But those kinds of opportunities, this will allow that person to actually meet a Larry Dunn who has been there and who has done it, a Bunny Burnell. I mean, you know, you know, I mean, look at the cast of characters that are the Jack Trippers. See, you should brand <laughs> that. You should brand that, dude. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I love you. that, dude. You know, there's a licensing opportunity, you know. Um, you know, I don't know how that's going to go over with the three company people. You know, maybe you spell Trippers a little bit different. Um, but, uh, you know, it's amazing the possibilities of this, you know, and the opportunity is vast and wide. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, I'm going to paraphrase a question you had asked to Mike. What's the future? Where are we, where, what are we looking at with Jack? Uh, with Jack, I was going to say Jack Trippers. Yeah. Jack Tripp. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where are we going? What, what, what can, what can we expect in the future? Uh, well, there's a few things. You know, one one comment I wanted to make on on access is uh, an important part of access is is cost and being able to afford equipment. And, and we talked about the device in the uh, earlier in the show. Uh, one of the things that we did at NAM is we launched a free software client so that if you have a Macintosh, a Windows, or a Linux computer, you can download the client for free and run the JackTrip software directly on it and easily connect to studios through that without having to have an uh, external device that you're hooking up. So we really want to lower the lower the access bar just to get started. Uh, we also have a, a free service, a very strong freemium plan. So anybody can, can join and start a studio that they can use to connect with up to 10 people for free for up to 30 wow. minutes at a time. And in the, what we're what we've really been spending a lot of our energy on is the live streaming capabilities of Jack Trip. We launched uh, Jack Trip Radio a few months ago, and with the click of a button, you can easily get a link uh, to a website um, that you can share with all of your fans, and they can use that link to listen in on any connected device anywhere in the world. And this is also it's a free service, so you can stream as much as you want to as many people as you want anywhere in the world to, to hear you practicing, playing, giving a performance. And, and that's, that's really a lot of what we're going to be focusing on uh, is making the, the platforms completely free while you're, sleep, while you're streaming to other people as long as you want. 
And we're building out a lot of capability around live events, live performances, uh, making it easier for musicians to connect with their fans, uh, to receive tips, to charge tickets, and, and monetize the thing that they love to do the most. Wow. Awesome, awesome. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this to Michaela. So you're, you, you're known for your social media presence. And you interact with a lot of other social media vocal phenoms and players. How do you see something like this now that you heard what uh, Mike was saying? How do you see that kind of coming into your your world and how can you use that? Well, first of all, it's incredible. Um, I've got so many friends who are in, you know, a lot of my friends are in New York or they're overseas or whatever. And and it's really, really difficult because, you know, you, you can't just go live on Instagram and jam together. You can't, you know, there's delay. You just can't, you simply can't do that. So to have something like Jack Trip or to have Jack Trip would be so incredible because we can go live together with all of, you know, their fans, all of my fans, everybody's fans watching and just create magic from anywhere. And I think that's so amazing because you can't do that yeah, without yeah. a software like this. Can you see, have you, have you come across some uh some other vocalists that you wanted to duet with no, absolutely there's some, there, there's some duet software out there but it's always what we call in post yeah you, you have to do it and then they do that to, to, to you know to yeah sync up. can't be at the there, same time no it can't be at the same time so are there any is there any artists that mm -hmm. you think you would uh like to say hey why don't you join join track jack trip and do a duet with me Oh my gosh, so many. That is a loaded question. Yeah. I kind of I knew there would be. <laughs> so many, pretty much like, I mean, Rosalia, I would love to, oh, yeah, yeah. I would love to collab with some Latino artists. I think that would be awesome. Um, yeah. Kali Uchis is one of my favorite artists. Oh, wow. uh, Kaylani, that's yeah. a really big one. I know we've talked about that. Oh, yeah. I love Kaylani. She's, I'm seeing her uh, in September. I'm so excited. Um, she's like my biggest inspiration. Ariana Grande. Um, I could go for hours. If we could pull hours. that one off, Mike, uh, we, 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 <laughs> we, 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 want, we want the big paycheck for that one. With our <laughs> right, right, right. Um, I could go for hours, but, you know, those <laughs> know, are just some main ones. That is cool. Uh, how about you, Bunny? Because a lot of the people that you work with are all over. Uh, now that you're set up, is there anybody that you want to uh, recommend uh, jumping on board so you can jam with them? Well, there's so many people. I mean, you're asking me, you know, so many of Another them. Another loaded question. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, you know, we can, <laughs> we can ask and see who, uh, who's interested, you know, see if somebody wants to join and things like that. There's so many of them. I mean, you're asking me. I know yeah. so many musicians. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, it's, it would be good to ask, you know, get a, get some different people, the people that I play with, like uh, Chad Wackerman. You know, asking uh, uh, some, some new players like uh, uh, Mahesh Balasuria, you know, killer yeah. player. There's so many people, you know, yeah, that, that sure they would love to join. Yeah. You have uh, my wife, Kellyn Peoples, that uh, sings and plays the flute. You know, she'll come and play, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. You know, so there's so many great players that uh, are ready to do it. Everybody wants to play. For That's sure. what's important, especially if you tell him with whom they would be playing. They're all going to run, you know. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. In fact, when I was talking with Larry about this, that was one of the things he was excited about is getting his whole band to be able to 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 rehearse. Because we all know, you know, you, know, you can you can co-sign. Everyone could co-sign me. Trying to get a whole band together at one time in the same spot, they're always all over doing different things. And if you can just say, hey, look. Be home at six o'clock, you know. You know, uh, grab a beverage and let's, you know, let's let's jam out. Let's work out the set or let's collaborate. Right. It's the best thing ever is being able to just say, "Hey, I'm coming home. Let's jam." Yeah. <laughs> so, Jack Trip or jam session. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, you know, this is just a precursor. We've got, and I'm going to announce this. We haven't set the final date yet, but in July, folks we are going to all get together and do this thing again. We've done our tests, we've done our, our first runs, and we're going to, uh, in a bigger way, do what we had planned to do at NAMM uh, with all the players here and have a great time and, and let you guys join in with us live this, this time around. So um, we will be making some announcements on the dates 
any last minute thoughts, Mike or, or Jack Trippers on what you want to <laughs> share with the people tuning in? I'm looking forward. I'm just excited looking forward. forward. You will be able to get some people to play uh, for you on some records that you never thought you'd be able to have, you know. Right. When people yeah. are going to be uh, able to play from Paris, from whatever, and do, this is the best. This is definitely the best. That's going to open all those uh, possibilities, and musicians are going to be very happy. Yes, yes. Mike? You're the man. You're the you're the you're the you're the you're the, the, the brain that created all this. What's your last words for everybody? Yeah, I mean, just uh, Jack Tripp's been around for about twenty years. Actually, um, started out as a little project at Stanford University. It was started by my one of my co-founders, Chris Jafe, who's the computer music department there. Another one of my co-founders is uh, Russ Gavin from the Stanford. Uh, he's the director of band. And I, I just actually got involved two years ago because I wanted to help my son's chorus sing together. Uh, and I, I was working at the time for a big data enterprise software company and just started spending all my evenings and weekends trying to find something that they could use and discovered Jack Trip and got obsessed and left my job and have been having a blast ever since. And I'm just, I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful to have that spark uh, behind us and behind me because I've always been a huge lover of music. And I feel uh, very blessed to be able to combine my, my love for music with uh, my skills and technology and especially to be working with great artists like you. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks. Well, guys, thank you very much for joining us, thank uh, you. all of my remote brothers. Thank you for uh, having us. Uh, we really appreciate your time through this whole thing because you know it, it, it coming together took a little bit as we start to to you know get everyone introduced to the technology, and uh, I, we're looking forward to bringing you the actual blessing of having these iconic players come together to share their musical spirit. And, uh, you know, want to give a shout out to our sponsors. I forgot, I always forget those guys because they do help us keep this, this show afloat. But our, our Artesia, who uh, made the drums that we used on the recording. Of course, uh, we give a big shout out to Jack Tripp for, you know, inviting us in to help share their story. And then our good friends over at Arturia as well that uh, uh, share their software with us. So. Um, thank you very much, folks, for joining. My name is Florentino Buenaventura again. This has been The Changing Stage. We will make some announcements on when the live performance is very shortly. Stay tuned for the next one. Right. <laughs> well done. That's it, guys. <laughs>